I didn't think I'd ever say this, but I went back to fourth grade. Right, yeah, Jennifer and a coin crew went to a school in Northeast Portland to experience being an educator for a day. And it was quite that, an experience. It's all part of American Education Week. Our Amy Frazier was there too, and she shows you what's changed and maybe what stayed the same since we were all in school. Oh, I see I have a new student. Yep. I just snuck my way in. I wonder if though if that's a fourth grader. <laughs> From the moment we arrived at PPS's Vernon School in Northeast Portland, we could feel the energy. What's up? To truly experience the work teachers and students do, I handled the reporting part, giving Queen Six News anchor Jennifer Hoff the chance to be in the moment. So what did you think about this? Did anything surprise you? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I have a whole new respect for teachers. Line it up. Math homework. We teamed up with teacher Gina Azaro Budak and her 23 fourth graders. They call me Miss Gina. Vernon is a K through 8 school with a program of learning designed to encourage global thinking. For example, when she teaches about the Oregon Trail, she also teaches about other migrations. I want to look at Syrian refugees. I want to look at um, the Great Mar Migration. I asked Miss Gina what it means to her to be a teacher. Well, it means a lot of things, but I think first and foremost, it's. Um, a really, really important job in that I'm tasked with guiding young people, showing them what they're good at, what their passion is, kind of restoring hope, I guess, uh, in our future. The Invisible Boy. Raise your hand if you've heard of this one or read it before. Engaging and teaching students with a good book feels a lot like when we were kids, but we learned other things are quite different. Thinking back to your own, say, your own fourth grade or your own elementary school days. Amy, that was a really long well, time ago. Well, believe me, I know. <laughs> Technology has replaced many old school memories. M Mimeo copies, right? The <laughs> Three, two, one. During class, Miss Gina uses a document camera to share a lesson. It's also a flexible learning environment, like a chair that allows a student to wiggle. If they're willing to engage because now their body is taken care of, not just their brains, then that engages the, the mind as well. Vernon fourth graders get 45 minutes for a combined recess and lunch period. You gotta cut me some slack here. It's been a long time. For Jennifer, that means some four square. Oh my gosh! <laughs> The principal describes recess as structured chaos with games like Foursquare to help build social skills. It's really important for kids to have agency and be able to make their own choices, and that's how they learn and become grown up peoples. <laughs> Next up, Jennifer gets a taste of lunch duty. Let's have Jennifer do it. Come on. What do you want me to do? Come on. Yo, this is the best part of okay. the Cleanup begins. Because they're going to pour their goo stuff to stand back. Just kind of like me. Hey. Tray after tray. Here I come. Is your garbage ready? With a little help. Okay. Trash duty like that? is a success. And now I know if I did this again. Back in the classroom, there's a hands on science lesson, building and testing rubber band racers. Now imagine if you did it more than 30. Working with a partner, students then test their racer in the hallway. Whew, it's been a whirlwind, huh? Yeah, and I still gotta go to work. <laughs> All right, we've got to get you back to anchor. Come on. <laughs> I gotta make my car first. I'm running from school. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was going to say, no running. <laughs> no running. That was so much fun. Well, your mom's a teacher, right? Yeah, she is. And mom, I have such a I newfound said, respect for you. Have you called her and let her know that? <laughs> By recess time, I was ready to go home. I said, you guys do this every day? But it was, it was a fun experience. And what I really liked about the racers that you saw mm -hmm. us make, they they encouraged failure. They said, that's okay. And I don't remember that so much back when I was a kid. There was a lot more discussion on what worked and what didn't work. And if it didn't work, how can we learn from it and, and improve it? And that it's still okay if it, if it didn't work. And you can tell she's one of those teachers those oh, kids will remember. I love Miss Gina. She was wonderful. So big thanks to everybody out there for allowing us to come in and do that for a day. A They're all heroes, boy. Yeah.